I'm a river red gum. But you can call me Eucalyptus camadulensis. The species is thousands of years old. Me, I reckon I'll turn 386 this year, in November. We're the most widespread eucalyptus in Australia. Unlike box trees, which are trees of high, dry, fertile areas, we're a tree of rivers and floodplains. We stabilise river banks and the soil and we pump water. We river red gums have evolved, developed and survived through some pretty violent changes here on Earth. Volcanoes, fire, ice, floods, droughts. We've seen them all. All the plants and animals around here know each other fairly well. You get that when you share evolution together over the centuries. We've learned to coexist. We're a community. We help each other. My basic needs are simple. I need a good drink, or better still, a flood in the spring followed by a late summer autumn drying period. I like sunlight and air. My life process involves pumping moisture from the ground, which I transpire through my leaves. I also convert carbon dioxide from the air to carbon, which I store. In return, I release oxygen on which most other forms of life need to exist. I am renewed by flowering, which I do between December and January, and develop my seed between March and September, dropping seed when conditions are right. And that's how I regenerate. Come and meet the kids. They range from three to 15 years. We need different ages in our family to support biodiversity. When they're a bit older, they'll be able to provide some great habitat for native animals. Now, names. That's Katie on the left and Janie next to her, and then Daniel, or is that Eric? Insects feed on my leaves, and bees take the pollen from my flowers to make honey. Birds feed on the insects and use the hollows in my trunk for breeding. Sugar gliders and goannas drop by from time to time. In fact, there are 50 different species that I'm directly associated with. And when I drop a dead limb into the river, I'm providing a habitat for the fish. My leaves, when shed, provide for life on the forest floor, as well as building up the soil in which we live. We need a good understory to attract insectivorous birds. Even when we die, we're valuable. More than just for firewood, we can provide a home. Any community depends on strong relationships. For us, it's about our relationship with the water, the fish, birds and insects. As in your community, 
We Red Gums are like the local general store, a meeting place, a chance for a chat whilst you stock up. Unfortunately, indiscriminate land clearing, erosion of floodplains, riverbanks and unnatural flooding have seen our numbers decrease. Our community is unbalanced and more than that, some of us are drowning. Instead of our normal flood of three or four days, twice in spring, we're standing in water four or five months a year. I reckon we can survive, if we get a fair go. Minimal grazing and cultivation, weed and pest control and natural flooding will help us. We're an integral part of the community. Whatever you do, we'd like you to think of us in the same way you think of your family. Ultimately, we are all family.